I'm Elizabeth, and we are outside of St. John's Catholic Church on 44 Temple Street in Worcester, Mass. It is the oldest Catholic Church in Worcester, and it is listed in the National Register of Historical Places. It was constructed in 1845 and dedicated in 1846. This is her story. In 1824, when the decision was made to build the Blackstone Canal, the project depended upon the Irish immigrants for its labor force under the direction of Toby Bolin. He had experience with this group of workers when working on the Erie Canal in New York. They generally work 10 to 12 hours a day, six days a week for $9 a month. They were looked upon unfavorably and they were not permitted to trespass into Worcester proper. They built a shanty town in an area on the east side of Worcester proper where they were permitted to live. Upon completion of the canal, the Irish immigrants stayed. They began to better their lives and were able to have their families join them. As their numbers grew, they wanted to build a church to worship their Catholic faith. Originally, that church was named Christ Church, built in 1834. It was a small wooden structure. The number of parishioners grew to 2,000 and a bigger building was needed. The cornerstone of St. John's Church was laid on May 27, 1845 at 44 Temple Street. It was completed and dedicated on June 24, 1846. Its dimensions were 65 by 136 feet and was the largest church in the area at the time. The cost was $40,000. Story has it that when the project was presented, it was again met with resistance from Worcester. When it was finally granted, it was built so the back of the building faced City Hall. Perhaps they were expressing some contempt after many years of disrespectful treatment. Today, it remains a thriving Catholic church with many outreach services to the community. I think that the Irish immigrants would be very proud of what they accomplished.